efforts to renew Yemen's truce failed due to the healthy rejection. The rebels have imposed conditions on the government which can never be met. Such conditions were described by the U.S. Pasha envoy as being maximalist. The following report has more on this. Attempts to extend the truce in Yemen have failed due to Houthi stubbornness, a refusal of repeated calls for a peaceful solution to Yemen's crisis. According to experts, the Houthi policy is closely related to their ally Iran, which itself is currently proceeding cautiously due to its domestic environment. Since 2014, Yemen has been caught in a war between the legitimate government backed by the Arab coalition on the one side and the Houthis backed by Iran on the other. This war has killed hundreds of thousands of people and according to the United Nations has caused the largest humanitarian crisis in the world. On April 2022, a truce between the warring parties started to partially alleviate the suffering of Yemenis who had experienced a horrific seven-year war that has pushed the country to the verge of famine. The truce ended in October after having been extended twice and each time for two months. Now two months have passed since the end of the truce and the military and political situation remains much the same as it was during the truce. Houthis rejected the plan of the United Nations Special Envoy to Yemen, Hans Gromberg, to extend the truce. The most important reason for the Houthis' rejection of the truce was the payment of all salaries of employees in the military and civilian corps in the areas under their control. From the point of view of the legitimate government, this payment would represent a blank check of support for the Houthi militia. The current status of situation may continue for a while, but Yemen remains nonetheless in the conflict and violence could escalate at any moment. The Houthis are likely to escalate in Ma'rib and Taz because the former is the energy stronghold of the government and the latter is a city which although besieged by the Houthis for a long time remains a shockhold for them. Despite all that, the biggest loser from not extending the truce and finding a final political solution in Yemen will be the Yemeni people who suffer from combined humanitarian and social crises.